So welcome back to the channel. Um, it's been a while since I've got any videos out and I apologize for that, but things have just been crazy. Um, if you subscribe to the channel and you hang around, you'll, you know, you'll, you'll pick up you know, why that is, but I don't want to get into that now. Right now, I want to get into some, um, some milling. Now, some of you been, might have been wondering where I've been getting all my wood from. Well, obviously the stuff that I hew, you know, I, t I get, just get from the logs and I've talked about that, but a lot of the, the wood I use that's already dimensioned, I mill myself. Um, so today, we're going to be building some red iron bar. That is, of course, if the mill starts. That was a bit of fun. Uh, normally I wouldn't bother with logs that are this small because it almost takes just as much time to set up a small log as it does to set up a medium sized log. But these logs are worth it. But also I wanted to uh, just sort of you know, ease myself and the mill back into it because it's been, been a while. I just want to make sure everything's working before I get out, back out into a bigger job. And one of the things I'd forgotten is that the last time I used the mill, I hit a screw. Lovely blade, fresh out of its sealed packet. Still got the wax on it from sharpening. And while I was um, putting the blade back on, we noticed the, um, that Max's um, farm supervisor was out just checking up on things. It was a pretty cold day, so he and his missus weren't particularly active, but they were just sort of sitting on the concrete trying to soak up enough heat to, um, to get themselves moving. All right. I think we're in business.
this fell out just before and um, I've been trying to work out where it was from and I couldn't find it so I just carried on milling which is probably not the most sensible thing but it, ah. Speaking of not sensible things As I was saying I carried on milling but this is a you know like it's not a um uh, yeah, it's not vital. Let's oh, drop the washer again. <laughs> yeah, I can see it. All right, so it, it it wasn't off the motor because it's a different style of screw, and it wasn't off the gearbox or anything. But it, it was identical to these ones here. But I couldn't find any missing from that. But anyway, just ran out of fuel, and I noticed that the fuel tank is a bit loose and I've worked out that it's from under here in under there to hold the fuel tank in place so now I'll put that back all right so we're back at the house now and I've got all the um, the red iron bark it's um, racked up not the best job of racking I've ever done I um, should have thought ahead a bit here I want to show you why I was so keen to get the most out of these logs even though there's some relatively they're relatively small pieces so this is why, this is why I've been putting the effort into um, these small iron bark logs. It's just because, look, the figure figure's pretty good, but the colour is just is just awesome. Let's see, we get a bit of water on there. This is close to what it will look like once it's been oiled up. And it's just stunning. Uh, the white sapwood makes a really good contrast in something like maybe a, a knife handle or a turnpiece, but um, the sapwood is very susceptible to the, the lictid borer beetles and they'll just eat it away unless you prote protect it with something nasty. Um, like some sort of preservative or you know enamel or varnish or whatever which is not something I like to do so I probably I won't I won't be using any of the sapwood in my work but that is just a such beautiful beautiful color um, I'm not really sure that the camera the computer screen or your phone will do it justice but it is such a beautiful red it's just just amazing I'm really, really going to enjoy making some stuff out of this. But I'm also going to experiment with um, force drying some of these small pieces like this for pen blanks and knife handles and stuff. And hopefully I'll get a bit of money by um, selling them on eBay. So if you want any, um, yeah, let me know. But anyway, um, stay tuned for the next video where we'll be milling a much larger log.